One beautiful Kentucky day in 1876, it rained meat. And to this day, no one has the perfect explanation as to how it happened. Mrs. Crouch, a farmer's wife, was outside making soap when she reported at around 11 or 12 o'clock she was no more than 40 steps from her house when out of nowhere, in the midst of a beautiful blue sky, it just started raining meat. Crouch recalled, When the flesh began to fall, I saw a large piece strike the ground close by me, with a snapping-like noise when it struck. Crouch said, The largest piece that I saw was as long as my hand and about a half inch wide. It looked gristly, as if it had been torn from the throat of some animal. Another piece that I saw was half round in shape and about the size of a half dollar. Not only was it raining meat, or more accurately, not only was meat falling from the sky, but meat fell from the sky for several minutes, which would be an alarming sight to anyone. Mrs. Crouch and her husband watched in fear as they perceived it as a message or a warning from God. If there was any doubt that it was in fact meat that was plummeting to the earth from on high, while the Crouches looked on in horror from their porch, their cat ran out and began happily gorging himself on his new favorite snack, meat rain. When it was over, the Kentucky meat shower, as the incident has since come to be known, left an area of the farmyard 100 yards long and 50 yards wide covered in flesh. Particles of meat were found sticking to the fences and scattered over the ground. As you might imagine, the farm where it rained meat became an instant local sensation and basically everybody in town stopped by the Crouch's farm to see for themselves, and also try to provide an explanation. Based purely on the appearance of what fell from the sky, most locals thought that it looked like beef, but it also had a very greasy feel. However, they didn't dare try a piece. They weren't as eager to put the sky meat in their mouths as the Crouch's cat was. But one local man, a hunter, wasn't afraid. Upon tasting the protein-rich precipitation, his conclusion was that it was bear meat. Another man, a local butcher, undeterred by the grossness of the situation, examined the meat and tried a piece. He stated that it, quote, tasted neither like flesh, fish, or fowl. It looked to him like mutton, but the smell was a new one. Basically, the town collectively had decided that it was definitely meat. It definitely, absolutely rained meat on the Crouch's farm. They just couldn't decide what kind. With no one locally able to identify the meat by sight or taste, the St. Louis Globe Democrat reported, a great deal of the flesh was sent to chemists and others in various parts of the country, and analyses were made by several well-known scientists. One early explanation offered by a professor named J.L. Smith was that the meat was actually dried up frog spawn that had been picked up by the wind and deposited gently on the Crouch's farm. In a journal called The Sanitarian, Leopold Brandeis claimed that the meat show was, quote, nothing more or less than the Gnostic of the old alchemist. A strange looking vegetable mass consisting of translucent, gelatinous bodies joined together by thread-like tubes or seed bearers. Now, I don't know what any of that means, and I suspect Leopold didn't either. It sounds like he just didn't want to think about the possibility of it raining meat. A few other scientists did some further experimenting which basically confirmed what people already knew. It was meat. A doctor at Louisville College placed a sample over a Bunsen burner and noted that it smelled distinctly like burning animal flesh, or rancid mutton. Others jumped on the mutton train with him, but still others looked at different samples and concluded that the mystery meat rain was actually, quote, lung tissue from a horse or a human infant. What? So, truly, meat did rain down on the Crouch's farm, but what caused it? And no, it wasn't a message from God. Though they can never be completely sure, the most readily available answer is that the Kentucky meat shower was caused by a large flock of buzzards flying overhead. One thing buzzards do as a defense mechanism is vomit up whatever animal they just preyed on. And once one buzzard vomits, the rest of the flock instinctively follows suit. It rained meat in Kentucky. Even worse, it was buzzard puke. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of history's weirdness that you won't find in your textbooks. All those textbooks that you had to give back. No one has their textbooks anymore, right? I don't have mine. Anyway, there's this video here. There's this one here. There's more stuff here. There's more good stuff. If you liked it, stick around.